The game begins with player, finding himself as a trainee at a camp. Player doesn't quite really know, that he is Shadow's descendant and son, or daughter of May, depending on which gender you choose. At the beginning, we'll refer to the descendant as him. Player meets Sarge and Gizmo, who are the members of a faction, called Legion. They teach the player, how to fight, and give him equipment. He tells, that the main goal of the Legion is to capture the Sphere, from the dynasty. Then they spot a Dynastian girl, who they believe to be a spy. However, she came to warn, about Dynastian commander's betrayal. Nobody from Legion listens to her, and it's decided, that the dynasty broke the truce between factions. The Legion orders June to be executed. The player, is the only person to trust June, so he frees her at night, before the execution. They escape together and find Gizmo, who after being defeated, informs about Sarge's plans. The player and June head to the camp, where they meet the executioner, who was ordered to punish the player for the treason. The player beats that guy, and Sarge has to confront the player himself. Sarge is defeated. The entire legion is mad at the player and June, so they escape together to the dynasty. June takes the player to Galen's school. Then, the best student at the school, challenges the player, telling, that the loser must leave the school. Shang Su loses, informing that he shall revenge. The party, player and some other guys, go to the palace. Aidu attacks the player. Because he saw, how the player took the shadow sphere. Aitu is a herald, who helps the dynasty. He, in fact, saw the player, who came from the distant future, to take the sphere. Aitu, after being defeated, also informs, that the emperor is missing. Galen's school is now empty, since Shang Su took all his students with him, but Jun tells that he still has the player. And he can represent Galen's school, in 100 schools tournament. So they head to the tournament, where the player beats everybody. Meanwhile, ambassador came there for player. But he gets defeated. Player meets the final contender, Shang Su again. He learned a new style, although not quite well, and he often falls, and drops his weapon. Player beats him. But he'll be destined to meet Shang Su again. Jun reveals, that she is the heir to the throne, and the daughter of the emperor. Aidu joins them, and they all go to search for Kibo. It turns out her squad went to fight Liquidators, a group from the Legion. The war, between two factions, seems to have begun. The player meets Gizmo's sister, who wants to revenge but loses to the player. Kibo is injured, and shadow energy affected her mind, but is stopped by the player. Kibo tells the trio to head to the dome for answers. The dome, is a location created by heralds to hide their faction. Aitu leads them to the dojo of the heralds. Bolo, a herald scientist, tells that, in order to prevent the destruction of the dynasty, the dome must cover the entire capital of the dynasty. But that could cause anomalies. They decide, that Bolo must be stopped, which player does, however, he soon realizes, it's a copy of Bolo. The trio, finds a legendary general of the Legion, who disappeared long time ago. Afterwards, the Emperor is found, and tells that the sphere is lost, and they head to the temple. All three characters have different intentions regarding the sphere, but the player decides, whose advice should be followed. No matter whom the player chooses to trust, that character, will try to defeat others, losing mind, because of the sphere. Aitu, then leads them to his friend, Ling, who could help them. While searching, they see how towns and villages are left in destruction. That's the war, between factions. And they find a strange group. Members of which, don't trust any faction, and fight for themselves. The leader of the group, could tell them where the Ling is. After a long search, they find Ling, who turned out, to be the leader himself. Ling tells them, the sphere is dangerous, and only he should be able to control it, but he's defeated by the player. He tells, that he spotted the trail, of the legendary Shadow, who is now returning to the world. Galen tells, he was Shadow's student, and knows where he could be. The Shadow Island, Fang, local captain of the dynasty, tells he can help them. In the meantime, scientist Okada joins them and they reach the island. As they arrive, Shadow Mind, starts sensing Moira, a princess who is ill with Scourge. It turns out, that shadow left her there, and made bots to keep her on the island. The local chief of the tribe, was exploiting Moira's shadow abilities. The chief, and bots are defeated by the player, and they leave the island. General Marcus is surprised, by the fact, that Moira was shown in the paintings, when he was a kid, which means that Moira, is eternally a kid, and have lived quite a long time. Scourge emerges from Moira, and is defeated by the player. The party, goes to the Legion's castle, to find out all the elders of Legion, are imprisoned. Queen Yolanda, Moira's sister, 
betrayed the Legion and used Harold's technology, becoming a cyborg. Also, she became a ruthless dictator who followed Bolo's will. A riot gathered against her regime, and Shang Su is their leader. Although he mastered three styles, used the power of the anger, and the gift of fire, he is still defeated by the player. The player, afterwards defeats Queen Yolanda, and finds out. That shadow disappeared long time ago in the crypt. Shadow Mind emerges, and tells the player, that the crypt is actually May's grave. It retells everything, that happened before. Shadow wants to destroy the world, to alter reality and create a different world, where May would be alive. However, he is too foolish to not know that if he fuses with Shadow Mind. Instead of trying to destroy it, he could get godlike powers and not only make Mei live again, but also taking full control over time, space and reality, something that Titan had dreamed about all his life. Player fuses with Shadow Mind and enters the portal. Having come out of portal, the player finds out that the Shadow has completely destroyed the entire dynasty and the Heralds. Every legionary now uses Shadow Energy, the player is met by Jet, who actually wants Ransom for bringing Descendant to Shadow. She's defeated though, and Descendant finds Aitu and Bolo. He finds that Shadow wants to use the Accelerator to recreate the world with the prototype that Aitu gave him, hoping to save Heralds. However Bolo and the player prove that no matter how much the reality and timeline is altered, Shadow always defeats everyone and gets the prototype. They head to the Void Room, where they are suggested to save a little girl, who is the Princess Moira, whom Shadow searches for. The player meets Gizmo, in the process, his old friend who became much stronger, but still, the Descendant defeats him. Trying to find Moira they encounter a palace of the dynasty, and Marcus, who tried to warn about Shadow. Turns out, Moira used her Shadow abilities, and formed her version of the Dome, and everyone was stuck in the time loop. Jet is angry, that June was having a party. While all the dynasty and folks perish from Shadow's army, she is then stopped by the player though. Gizmo and his underdogs appear to siege the dynasty and palace, while revealing that Moira was taken to Shadow. Bolo and player rush to the accelerator core, and Shadow fights against his descendant, one versus one using a giant robot. After his robot breaks down, he fights with the player with his fists and kicks. Moira doesn't want Shadow to receive harm, as she releases Shockwave that separates Shadow Mind from the player. Shadow accidentally submerges with Shadow Mind and gets unlimited powers. He is defeated though after a long fight, somehow. Moira loses control and knocks out both Shadow and his descendant, bringing Shadow Mind to the core and finishing cleansing. The world is destroyed and is to be created again. An unknown stranger shows up, telling Shadow Mind that if it wants to fuse with the Descendant, it must return back to all three past realities where the Descendant has traveled. Player wakes up as the Prince of the Dynasty, replacing June, and meets the Stranger, who tells about stability. In this timeline, Dynasty and Legion have an alliance, and Heralds are seen as cultists. The Emperor suddenly loses his mind, the Sphere is awakened, and it starts to speak. It tells that in fact, this world is an illusion. Heralds are desperate to find the Sphere. Shadow still exists in this world, and he will still do anything to destroy everyone. The prince visits a famous local school, where he meets the Madmaster, who is no other than Shang Su. Despite the fact that it's a different world and another timeline, he still hates the descendant at the first sight. Turns out Shang Su is a member of Resistance Group, led by Marcus. It's weird to see Marcus, Dang Rao, Shang Su, and Yuka on the same team. Yuka brings an old captive, who was captured. However, the old captive intentionally led them to capture him, so that he can find the descendant. Once he sees the prince, he immediately stops time. It's the legendary herald, Bolo, who travels through timelines and worlds. He fights the descendant to be sure it's him, since only Shadow and his descendant can overcome Bolo's tricks. Bolo tells that he sent descendant back in time thrice each time replacing someone else. Also, he informs that Shadow actually destroyed the world, but Mei wasn't rescued as well, as the world simply came back to the past. Bolo warns the player that this timeline is their enemy and they shouldn't trust anyone. Descendant must find the sphere quickly. Then Bolo disappears. It's revealed that Dang Rao betrayed Dynasty. While Emperor and Dang Rao are arguing, Player, Marcus and Fang are teleported by Aitu. They find out that Legion broke the trust by not keeping their promise of giving Bolo, but they got someone. The dynasty had promised General Marcus. 
He is about to be executed. Meanwhile in this timeline, Moira is not an eternal kid, but a queen. Before we continue, these videos aren't easy to make, and take a lot of effort. Monetization isn't available for my region, and I do YouTube stuff for absolutely nothing. However, you could help me a lot by subscribing to the channel, and checking out the game, I've been developing. It's a quite simple game, there are different levels, fun mechanics. And you can get skins using the coins in the game. I'd be very happy, if you tested it, and left your thoughts about the game. It's available for Android, Windows and Linux, on the itch.io. The game has barely any downloads, and even one download, and one comment will make a great difference. Thank you, for your attention, and now back to the video. After some minor events, everyone finds Ambassador, who was looking suspicious, and was illegally trading shadow energy he got from Blacksmith Ling. The party, leads to the Blacksmith, hoping to find, anything about the sphere. Ling tells, that the sphere will find the one, who is destined to possess it, when he will be worthy enough. Descendant sees a dream, after which he defeats Ling, to prove he's the one, worthy to hold the spear. Everything trembles in shadow energy, as Ling says God comes. The God, is no other, than the mysterious stranger, who is stronger, than all the characters combined. Stranger tells them, that the prince, is the shadow's descendant, teleporting them to a swamp, near Harold's village. Attacked by northern legionaries, they learn from Yuka, that the sphere, had been replaced with a fake one. Fang thinks, it must be near the dynasty capital, and I too helps them, to get there. With the portal, there, they find the queen, who also came for the sphere, and she tells, that she can sense its presence, as she was tortured as a kid, with experiments by Bolo. They soon learn, that there is no sphere, it used to possess the emperor, but Kibo freed him, causing his death, and took the sphere herself. The sphere is angry, however Descendant beats it. Stranger shows, that the world is still destroyed by shadow, since Descendant's index of historic importance is not high enough yet. He needs to get stronger, and have more knowledge. Player finds himself as a bot, near an old man. It turns out, he fixed the bot, although they were noticed by Gizmo. Fox-like bot, Kitsune, arrives, stating, she was searching for the bot, for three days. And the bot, is deactivated. Yolanda, is a queen in this plane. She orders to arrest Proxy, the player, however he escapes. He is saved by Jet and brought to Bolo, who protects him from Yolanda's troops. June tries to convince Kibo that Bolo is right about the fact that Proxy must live. She justifies it, saying Bolo is a legendary stranger, however he isn't. Although nobody knows about who exactly is the stranger, but that's just for now. Kibo still forcefully teleports everyone to Yolanda's palace where they are met by Okada. The Emperor of the Dynasty. It turns out, Jun's biological dad was killed by Shadow in this timeline. Okada adopted her, thus becoming the Emperor. He also created the bot, in which Descendant's soul took place after Shadow Minds travel. Bolo states that Okada erased everyone's memory about Bolo, and wishing revenge, activates Proxy's attacking protocol. Descendant is in the body of the Shadow bot, only the soul belongs to him, that's why he can't resist Bolo's orders. June orders that Proxy is returned to Yolanda, but Bolo resists. Bolo reveals again that he travels between worlds and timelines, although this time, it could be that he never existed in the first place, since no one remembers him. Finding Marcus, they discover he is trapped in a loop by Galen for profit. While they free him, Queen Yolanda manages to find the party. Proxy beats everyone, as the Void Room predicts. Kibo is absorbed by Void Room and she became Grand Arbitress. The Void Room says, the Descendant and Bolo, are to be arrested, as they committed many crimes. Although Descendant is very strong, his body is mechanical in this timeline, and can be deactivated with a phrase, trust me, which the Grand Arbitress says. Waking up, Proxy sees Nanami, who fixed him, and wants to get to the Void Room, he helps her. As she explains, Void Room was built around a mysterious voice. And Nexus, was the name, that was given to it, however Bolo, is the only one, who knew it but now his memories are lost. Only the descendant can connect to his rectangle and collect the memories. As he delves into memories, he finds that Bolo is not the initial Bolo. That existed. The real Bolo is gone long time ago, and the Bolo everyone sees and has seen ever before is actually Aitu. After that Bolo or older Aitu remembers that Void Room is actually Mei. Shadow's loved one, descendant emerges victorious over Void Room, Bolo tells, that Void Room accuses anyone, for destruction of the world, but Shadow, because Mei loves him, and will do anything. 
To justify his actions, Void Room consists of the core, May, and the rest are heralds. That's why, it was arguing with itself. Void Room is creating simulations. Shadow, is in one of them. When the party reaches the temple, Nanami finds Shadow, and tells that, Descendant is here, and he should take revenge. However, despite Descendant being not in his own body, without his own Shadow mind, he still emerges victorious over Shadow. Nanami helps Shadow to recover, and tells, he should escape the timeline. And return to the original one, where cleansing awaits him. Proxy finds Shadow Mind and Mei's spirit. Mei tells Shadow Mind to fuse with the Descendant so they can stop Shadow from cleansing. However Shadow Mind went crazy and didn't want to listen. Meanwhile Legionaries and the bots have united under Shadow and Nanami. Shibata joins the party and sends them into the past. To get the sphere, Nanami messes their route and they arrive to the original timeline. At the palace they search for the sphere but then encounter Aitu. They return back without the sphere and they rush to the accelerator. Nanami, despite being so strong, loses to the Descendant, and Okada erases her code. Stranger shows up, and tells that, Proxy's destiny is fulfilled, and he's just a copy of the original Descendant. The Stranger, is the real Shadow's Descendant, the first Descendant. And the original one to be exact, all the others appeared because of the time travels he made in the past. He disappears, leaving the player in an existential crisis. May tells. That stranger became a monster, who wants to bend the world to his will. However, one of his copies will be strong enough, to become a good part of the Descendant, who will defeat the stranger. But he needs help. Shadow tells, he's ready to fight for thousand years, to help Descendant and save Mei. Proxy is saved from the time loop, and he returns to the past. Where cleansing is about to happen. He, this time, sees Shadow Mind, and after defeating them, cleansing occurs. Everything is destroyed, May tells Shadow Mind in the bridge between that there is no real descendant yet, and the one who tried to save their friends, is the closest to being real. Shadow Mind enters Marcus's plane, the player wakes up, as the general of the Legion, replacing Marcus. They can first investigate the lost squad. Infection, called Scourge, which is no other than Shadow Mind, takes away people's souls and leaves them dead. Or they can go first to find deserted soldiers. Northerners attack the capital. Sven, their leader, challenges the throne of the Legion, telling that the king is gone long ago, and his hall is rather a museum. Although, he is defeated by the general, they meet again, this time with Tarlin, the steppe prince. General, either decides to go to the Forbidden Island first, where June turns out to be Tarlin's agent, instead of being a princess, and on the island, there is king's daughter. Or they can go to the crypt, where Tarlin's underdogs infect the player with the scourge. Helga and others think that the Legion lost the power of light after player became the general. And they decide to get rid of him with Scourge. What they don't know however, is that the general himself is the descendant and Scourge is his own shadow mind. At this point, Stranger starts taking control over the world and anomalies start to occur. A lot of characters are stuck between timelines. The general can go either to the heart of the forest first, where he finds Bolo, who was trapped there, or he can go to the Temple of the Hero, where Shadow mentions the King of the Legion. Although, King dies, asking the player to save his daughter. After traveling in time, General manages to free Marcus, from Shadow Mind, and again, Shadow Mind is at the bridge between, where it enters the main timeline. In this timeline, Shadow dies instead of Mei. Stranger, is the strongest one in the world. Stranger gathers his gang, where links can be found. Stranger also attacks his own mom, Mei player has to complete storylines of side characters. In these side stories, it can be found how the player changed lives of the side characters. Nemos, the ancient, collects the memories and summons the player. Void Speaker gives him Shadow's armor walker, as the radiation near the gates of shadows is lethal. The battle of the game begins. After a long fight, the hero wins. Mei stops Hero from finishing off Stranger, who then wants to beat her, but unable to do this to his mother, he wants to absorb all the power of the gates, However he isn't able to endure such energy. Mei hugs him for the last time, and Stranger evaporates. The world is destroyed once again. Ancient tells the hero, that he is now eternal, and one of the ancients. He can create any world he wants. With the shadow mind. And that's the end of the story.